One of the most rewarding things we can do as gardeners is to have a home vegetable garden and grow great produce to put on our home tables. Now, one of the great vegetables to grow this time of the year is broccoli. Broccoli is planted in the fall and then it's planted again in the spring, this time of the year, in fact. Now, this broccoli was planted in the fall and it's such a productive vegetable. Let me show you what it's done. Now, we harvested a large main head from the broccoli. You can see the scar right here. After the main head was harvested, the broccoli sent up a whole bunch of new secondary florets, smaller, and they were harvested. You can see the stumps from them here, here, and here. But then now it sent up a third flush, and these florets are the last gasp of the plant, but what a wonderful harvest to get from it. If you leave your broccoli too long, it will go to flower, and the broccoli is not usable at that point. You can see that happening right here. So make sure you harvest the florets when they're nice and tight, and the buds are about the size of the head of a kitchen match. So make sure you harvest your broccoli promptly. It doesn't forgive you much if you wait too long. Cabbage is another coal crop, but unlike broccoli, when you harvest the main head, and you can see on these, the main head has been harvested, nothing else is produced. So you wanna make sure you pull the whole plant up when you harvest your cabbage. Now, when the head's tight and hard, it's ready to go. If you leave cabbage too long, it's more forgiving than broccoli. You don't have to harvest it immediately, but eventually the heads may split or crack open. And you can see that happening here. Don't let that happen to your cabbage. So when growing broccoli and cabbage in your home garden, make sure you harvest them at the right time to get that really good quality that you're looking for. And both of those vegetables can be planted now in your vegetable garden for production later this spring. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.